Welcome to Rockstyle Productions, where in this episode, we are going to show you the PhotoFast G-Power all-in-one AC adapter and dock for the Nintendo Switch. Could be interesting. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. Before we get started with today's episode, I want to take a real quick second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos that we have here on the channel, including an entire playlist dedicated towards the Nintendo Switch and Switch Lite, along with an entire playlist dedicated towards Nintendo Switch docks, cables, and accessories. And if you really like what you see here and you want to see more and be kept up to date, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way every time we upload new content, you are kept the most informed and up to date. And what I want to know from you here today in this video, the Nintendo Switch and Switch Lite, very popular systems. Do you prefer the Switch or the Switch Lite? Are you more of a handheld gamer or are you more a gamer on the go? I will tell you in handheld mode, I think the Switch Lite is vastly superior to the original Switch. I think the form factor and the size are just terrific. But the fact that you can't hook it up to a television, yeah, the regular Switch is really my daily driver. So the folks over at PhotoFast reached out to us several months ago, actually, at this point, and asked us if we'd be interested in checking out their G-Power basically dockless dock for the Nintendo Switch. And this is really unique and it looks a lot like the Genki dock that's out there that essentially does the exact same thing as this in different ways though. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna throw it on the bench, we're gonna see how it comes out of the box. We're gonna check out the fitment of the ports and everything like that. And we're gonna do some gameplay with it just to check and see how well it works. Let's hit the bench and get started. So here we have the PhotoFast G-Power dock on the bench. As you can see, it is a plug-in type C cable, uh, plug-in HDMI cable right on the front, 60 watt output. It is compliant with PD 3.0 and has the capability of passing through 4K Ultra HD. And I know what people are already gonna say, the switch doesn't display in 4K. Correct, and this does not upscale to 4K, but you can use this with more items than just your Switch. You can actually use this like, say, with a smartphone and be able to cast to your TV through that. So like a Samsung DeX would give you 4K Ultra HD pass-through. Uh, instructions to connect HDMI to HDMI cable, plug in the wall, plug in the Type-C to Type-C cable. And here you can see on the back, it is an all-in-one design. The G-Power replaces both the original dock and charger. Portable and lightweight, it's portable, <laughs> it kind of repeats itself here. Portable, more compact and lighter than the original dock. PD 3.0 fast charge, your latest device, so it'll work with Switch, iPhones, iPad Pro, Android, MacBook, and Surface Books, and stream 4K 60 hertz content to your TV. Uh, play and stream your favorite games, movies, and presentations in full size on TV with G-Power's built-in USB-C to HDMI converter. So looking at what's in the box, the G-Power and the type c to c cable has your adapter plugs depending on your region. What's not in the box? I don't know that I've ever seen someone list what's not in the box. No Nintendo Switch included, no HDMI cable, so you'll have to use your own. On the specs here, interface is USB 3.1, Gen 2, USB-C, and HDMI 2.0. Uh, PD 3.0 charger. Uh, the main thing here, outputs 5 volt, 3 amp, 9 volt, 3 amp, 12 volt, 3 amp, and 15 volt, 3 amp. So that's one of the unique things with having switches be bricked is the fact that it doesn't output the right voltage from the dock. This looks that it will do your initial 5 volt out before jumping to the 15 volt that it needs. For the HDMI 2.0, it'll do HD and UHD TV. We'll go to a monitor or projector resolution up to 4K, 60 frames per second, 2160p, compatible with the Switch, Samsung DeX, iPad Pro, MacBook, PC laptop with a Type-C connection, and it has a QR code if you want to learn more. So I want to learn more by diving into the box here. Is there any tape? Does not look like it. How do we get in here? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our X-Acto knife and go under the flat, what I think is a flap. They didn't glue this, did they? I'm not this dumb, but it appears that they've glued the box flaps together. Yeah, there's glue on that, or tape, double-sided tape, whatever. Photo fast, don't do that. 
So here is the unit itself. It's actually white. I was not expecting white. Almost looks like this should be two pieces, but it's not. Um, fold out for your uh, power port there. And then to adapt it to different types, I have no idea. And there's no, oh, there is an instruction booklet in here. Yeah, it does not show you how to do anything besides connect it to your switch. So uh, I'm gonna take a second, see if I can't figure this out. Oh, okay, I think I just figured it out. Boom, that's how you do it. You just slide it with the um, with the prongs folded in and plugs right in like that. So if you are outside the US, well, that's a tight fit. That was a very tight fit. So if you're outside the US, it does include adapters. You know, that's for the EU. I know that's what I had when I was in Germany. Not quite sure where that is. Nice, thick USB-C cable. That is actually really, really nice. And then you just connect that there. The other end will go to our switch and then we'll connect an HDMI cable there, which um, we're gonna actually do that right now. Let me go grab my switch and an HDMI cable. So what I've done is I've got the G-Power right here by me and I'm just running along HDMI cable so that way you can see that yes indeed I am playing on my actual switch and I do have my Switch Pro controller here ready to go. Uh, what are we gonna play? Let's play some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. How's that sound? And just for Rax the Great, I'm taking my own me. I mean, so far so good. Except for the fact that I hit B instead of A. I mean, the colors look good. The audio is, I mean, there's no issues with the audio or the video from what I can see. And I must admit, I never noticed there was a shine sprite on the top of the, uh, on the top of the airport there. Yeah, I mean, the controls and everything are feeling really responsive. I'm not, if you handed me a control and asked me if I was using a stock dock or a third party dock, I would not be able to tell you the difference. Um, and that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Hit me in the air, that's, that's kind of low. Thing is, you hit me in the air and you're still gonna lose. All right, Mario Kart played great. Let's try Street Fighter. Again, one of those, lag, latency delays. Just a great game to test all that out. Having a problem pulling off the dragon uppercut. There we go. Yeah, that was a throw and I went for the dragon uppercut. So maybe am I going too fast on the inputs? It's a possibility. Let's slow it down a little bit and see if, if we're still having issues. He did a dragon uppercut through my fireball. Oh, no. Oh, he got me with the punch. All right, one more. But I am having an issue with the analog stick hitting the dragon uppercut. That's interesting. Got him. All right, one last game here. Let's take a look at some Castlevania. Even today, this is an amazing soundtrack. There's actually a, if you're into vinyl, you can actually get a copy. I was able to pull that off perfectly awesome. Um, there is a copy of this soundtrack on vinyl. I mean, the colors absolutely look spot on. The play control feels terrific. Um, audio is spot on. I, like I mentioned just a few moments ago, if you handed me a controller with this playing and asked me, am I playing on an original dock or am I playing on a third party dock? I would be hard pressed to tell you one way or the other. And that's a good thing. Even the, the little whipping trick there, hold the button and move the stick or the D pad around and it'll hit your enemies. That's still working just fine. Yeah, this is terrific. I mean, I'm not feeling, at least in this, I'm not feeling lag and delay. Um, I don't know what was going on with uh, Street Fighter where I was having problems with the analog stick pulling off the dragon uppercut. 
Uh, but this I'm not experiencing any issues with. Ah, dang it, I didn't want the knife back. I, 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 I don't want the knife. Please. All right, one final test we're gonna do, and it's actually not on the Switch. It's with our cell phone. Seriously, it's with our cell phone. So I've now disconnected my Switch, and I have my Samsung Note 10 connected here, and it launched Samsung DeX. The weird thing though right now is the fact that, uh, there we go, I can use DeX as a touchpad. Now there you can see the mouse moving. Let's go down here to our app drawer. Now, I wanna give you a look at GameEye. Here we go. Pretty cool app here, and you can definitely go full screen with it. And here is just some of the games and whatnot that are in my collection. Um, pretty, pretty cool app. Go back there, we'll go back to the app drawer. Let's see about video. Go to Star Trek The Next Generation. We'll just play whatever we have here. Oh, where silence has leased. This is a great episode. And we're gonna stop it right there because I don't wanna get a copyright claim. So very cool that it does work as a Dex dock. Now, one of the downsides about the way this system works is the fact that um, you can't connect a USB keyboard or mouse to it. You can only use Bluetooth since it doesn't have any other inputs. Uh, but pretty cool overall. Let's wrap it up. So there you have it, our look at the PhotoFast G-Power dockless switch dock. And what do I think about it? It works. Um, it does work quite well. It was interesting that I was having issues pulling off the Dragon Uppercut using the analog stick on Street Fighter, but not with the D-pad. So I don't know if I can necessarily blame it on this. Um, I do wish that this had USB ports on it for use with a wired keyboard and mouse, especially with features such as the ability to use it as a deck stock. I mean, that's actually really a cool feature that they have baked into this. Um, I think it's a little disingenuous to label this as a 4K device when the focus is for the Switch, when the Switch doesn't output 4K. I understand why they did it, because you can hook up other devices that can output 4K, but if the primary market for this is Switch users, I would definitely recommend taking that off of the front of the box right there and moving that more to like an additional benefit or feature that it can pass through 4K if it has a 4K input on it. Above and beyond that, I thought it was weird that the box was glued shut. Um, not something that I would have expected uh, and it just kind of odd overall. Um, it works. That's the best thing I can say about it is it does just work. Now, I have not seen any anti-bricking warranty or anything like that, but looking at the way that it outputs the voltage and the current, it looks and appears to do everything properly, where it goes to five volts to start and then jumps up to 15 volts to get you what you need to run the switch dock to a TV or something like that. Um, this is definitely something I would say to give like the Genki dock a run for its money. Um, but let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Is this something you would try out? Have you tried a Genki dock? What are your thoughts on going with something like this? Now, I will say I also would not use this as my daily driver. I would use this if I am traveling and on the go. It's just without the USB ports and everything on it, I use those for charging accessories. So for me using this as a daily driver, not so much, but if I am traveling, a definite maybe. Let me know if you've got any questions down below in the comments. You can also go ahead and always, as always, send me an email at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can also go ahead, as always, and send me an email at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Send me a message through Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and on Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. Now, I will have a link down below in the pinned comment where you can check one of these out for yourself and pick one up if you would so like so. Um, really unique, really different for, you know, compared to the docs that I have checked out. Again, I haven't checked out the Genki one, uh, but this definitely looks to be well made. Good video, good audio, good responsiveness. My name is Gary, this has been Rock Solid Productions, and our look at the PhotoFast G-Power dockless dock all-in-one for the Nintendo Switch. I thank you for watching, and hey, why don't you check out some more videos of ours? They're coming up right now.
Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.